Okay, guys, uh, we're here to talk about my favorite television show mm -hmm. of all time, the new version, <laughs> DuckTales. DuckTales! Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> DuckTales, uh, the new DuckTales finally aired on Disney XD. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to say this weekend, or a few days ago, I, I don't know, uh, I was noticing on Instagram, because we don't have cable. Yeah, So which nobody else really does uh, nowadays. <laughs> a lot of people were watching this show. Yeah. Um, uh, some, I don't know, people have, people do, some people do. Because <laughs> Disney XD is a thing, so. Uh, <laughs> and uh, that's where this show aired a few days ago, and I was kind of freaking out because I didn't know how I was going get, to get to watch the show. Right. Because uh, this is truly my favorite TV show of all time. Oh. Because I grew up reading the Uncle Scrooge comics. Yeah. And Uncle Scrooge is actually, I call him Uncle Scrooge, Scrooge McDuck. Mm -hmm. The comics are called He's Uncle Scrooge. He's your uncle. <laughs> the comics are called Uncle Scrooge. Um, Scrooge McDuck uh, is my favorite fictional character of all mm -hmm. time, you know. Yeah. I uh, grew up reading the comics, and the show was based on the comics, the original show. Mm -hmm. And they changed some things. They added a Launchpad McQuack. He didn't exist before the oh, show. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, used to be Donald was in all the stories. Mm -hmm. They kind of replaced him with Launchpad on the old show. And they added other characters, like Webby okay. did not exist. Oh, wow. Uh, she was created for the show. Um, anyway, so we've got a new version now. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I, I don't really... Uh, I remember watching it as a kid, but I don't really remember it very well. But I do remember the movie that came out. DuckTales the movie? Yeah, I remember that one really well. Kind of. And, uh, and I obviously remember the theme song and the opening. Um, but yeah, and I, you know, Darkwing Duck was a spinoff of yeah, DuckTales. Yeah, I, I remember Darkwing Duck. Well, yeah. it had Launchpad in mm -hmm. it, of course. Yeah. Uh, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. But yeah, so I didn't know how I was going to get to see this show. Um, because Disney's really bad about not putting shows on DVD. Oh. <laughs> but uh, they have been good lately about posting their own shows on YouTube. Good. The first episode, which was like... I'm guessing the, it was double length because mm -hmm. it was like 44 minutes rather than like 22 mm -hmm. or, you know, or an hour or whatever it was um, rather than half an oh, hour. Oh, yeah, it was a little bit longer. So I'm assuming the show is, is just like a half hour show. But I don't know. Maybe they are hour long shows. Or <laughs> maybe it was just the pilot. It was really long. But yeah, so it was like, a, you know, a 40 some minute show, mm -hmm. uh, the, the pilot episode. Uh, and uh, what do you think? I loved it. You loved it? Loved you don't remember it. the old show at all, I don't. but you loved this one. I don't remember it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, re I really don't. I remember like little... That's amazing because I that's would it. watch it all the time. Yeah, and I would watch it with you. So, But I guess I was too young or something. I don't know. But um, I really liked it and it was really funny. And um, The new show. I remember the characters of the old show and stuff like yeah. that, you know. But... Um, yeah, it's great. What do you think about the voices? You don't remember like the old voices really well, or do you? I mean, I kind of do, but not super well, no. But like, it's kind of in the back of my mind. But yeah, David Tennant's great. <laughs> and that was your main like draw with this show. Yeah, right? David I was Tennant. like, David Tennant is doing the voice. <laughs> I was just telling her how Scrooge is a cooler character than Doctor Who. And uh, <laughs> um, I, I don't so. agree. I but. Do. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> no, I like Doctor Who. <laughs> you know what? They're different, and I could see how you think he's badass, because he is. Um, but I would put them maybe about the same. I wouldn't put one over the other. You don't know all Sorry. the things that Scrooge has done in his life. You don't life. know all the things that Doctor Who has done in his <laughs> life, so I don't even Yeah, start. but he's got like a <laughs> reset button. <laughs> So does this one, apparently, he's the, with the fountain of youth. <laughs> yeah, he had to find that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's, that's a theory that's around about why Scrooge is still alive, because he's old. I mean, he, like, got his money in, like, the gold rush. That's cool. Well, he got it in a lot of different ways, but that was the big thing, you know, for him. Uh, but, um, yeah, uh, there's, there's, like, he has gone in search of the fountain of youth. You could assume that maybe he got a little something out mm -hmm. of it. And that's why he's still that's going. Cool. But, um, yeah, so the first episode, uh, Scrooge McDuck, if you don't know, is the richest duck in the world. Mm -hmm. He's Donald Duck's uncle. He's like the great uncle of uh, Huey, Louie, and Dewey. And in this first episode, Donald has to go to a job interview, so he takes Huey, Louie, and Dewey uh, to Scrooge's mansion to stay with him 
Well, you know, just for a few right. hours. And of course, they end up having a big adventure. Adventure going in search of the uh, mm -hmm. lost city of Atlantis. Reluctantly at first for Yeah, Scrooge, Scrooge. you yeah. know, didn't want anything to do with, with the kids mm -hmm. and everything. They hadn't really met him in this version yeah. before, you know. Uh, it was it's really interesting. There's a few changes, but what I really like about this show and the voices are fine. Mm -hmm. Like well, S Donald is the same as always. Mm -hmm. uh, David Tennant does a good job. He's a great Scrooge. He's, he's different from Alan Young. And Alan Young will always be my Scrooge, uh -huh. uh, but he does a great job. Yeah. And uh, it's it's a different thing. He's doing his own thing, but he's 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 still Scrooge. Is he really? Is it different? I don't remember. Well, I mean, he doesn't sound like Alan Young. He you doesn't. Know? But he does a good job. He delivers like the classic lines. Did Alan Young sound really well. older? I don't remember. Only like in the later years. Just different. When he would do like other movies and stuff, like Christmas movies and stuff later. Well, I remember. Did Alan Young voice the? Christmas Carol? Yeah, that was like his first time as Scrooge. Okay. And back in the like early that, yeah. 80s or mid 80s, yeah. early 80s. Yeah, and uh, that was his first time as Scrooge. And it was like the second time that Scrooge was so I guess ever in a cartoon. He's more or third. Subtle. He was more subtle. Yeah. I don't know. He was very Alan Youngy. Yeah. He was like, you know, with his Scottish accent, like in the time machine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, well, well, there was a cartoon with Scrooge in the 60s called Scrooge McDuck and Money. Mm -hmm. And it was like an educational kind of thing where yeah. he was teaching uh, Huey, Louie, and Dewey about money. And it was an amazing cartoon. It was a musical cartoon cool. that has not been released on DVD. I'm oh very gosh, upset about I'd that. I'd like to see it. And then, like, shortly before DuckTales, I think, they came out with Sport Goofy and Soccer Mania. And that was not... Alan Young. Uh, oh, and in between those was, was Mickey's Christmas Carol. Yeah. So they had Alan Young, but then the sport goofy thing, I don't know, it was a rush job, I guess, and they just got somebody else. Huh. But then DuckTales came on, and it was Alan Young. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, David Tennant, also amazing job, in his own way. <laughs> um, they've changed some things. Mrs. Beakley, who was the nanny that they hired, that Scrooge hired to take care of Huey, Louie, mm -hmm. Dewey, now he's, she's like this badass, like, Butlerish kind of woman. Mm -hmm. She's she's kind of like Alfred for Batman, especially like Gotham Alfred. If you've ever seen that show. And she wasn't like that before. <laughs> she wasn't. She was just like a an old you know oh. nanny. Uh, old Betty. Uptight, uptight yeah. type nanny, and uh, but not always. I mean, she would you know do stuff too. Uh, but like, Webby used to get a lot of heat. Webby was her granddaughter who came with her, uh -huh. you know. And uh, she was just the cute little girl. That was her whole shtick. Oh. And there's, she's always gotten a lot of hate for that. Okay. Um, That's especially sad. when Gosselin came along from Darkwing and she was all oh, feisty. Oh, yeah. And, I remember Gosselin. Yeah. Um, this character, the new Webby, sort of more like Gosselin, but Gosselin was, I don't know, more of a bad girl. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. one is just kind of like loopy and excitable Frantic. and adventurous and everything she's kind of obsessed with scrooge and donald mm -hmm. and the whole family because they're you know great adventurers to her and she wants to be this great adventurer and so does dewey like that first episode was about yeah. how dewey wanted to to really like be scrooge's you know have him as his mentor or something mm -hmm. so that was really it was really good i mean they're focusing individually on on the the nephews mm -hmm. they're not all just the same people have talked about this already because it's like it's been out there for a while in like little clips and everything. And what about the designs? Uh, the designs like are, are, are harder for me to get used to. Yeah, me too. Somehow they look less, <laughs> I don't know, not really detailed. They're just, I'm just used to that I'm old Disney style. I'm used to the old style and I miss that old style. I yeah. really do. Um, but I'm not like, it's not as difficult for me to get used to it but it's kind of is I don't know I, I really miss that old style but I do like the new style it's not something I me don't too. like yeah it's just something about it is is it it's looks, just different it doesn't look completed no I don't feel that way about it so much I don't really feel that way about it um it's it's just a a, a, a a more distinct style yeah. whereas the old style was the Disney style right I mean true. they looked like you know, like well, they but always look. this is look. becoming the Disney style because they've got. The well, P &P this is kind, kind of the whole animation style now. Is kind of things Which like I'm this. I'm not going for it. Oh. oh, I like the new Mickey show, but I mean, I don't ever want to lose the classic Disney look. Right. Like I hope that Mickey usually still looks like 
because he sort of they perfected Mickey Mouse. I know. You know, and now uh, they're going back to the drawings. It's a, no, it's a cool little style for that show, mm -hmm. and they are now incorporated into a ride. Into the ride, yeah. And that's it's kind of weird. Over. I don't want that style to take over for Mickey, but. I do like it on that show, which is a very funny show. They're using these styles more because comedy has become more important on mm -hmm. cartoons now. I like that this show still had the adventure aspect, but it's more of a comedy than the old show was. And the old show had jokes and stuff, yeah. but it was more about the story. Right. This one, you know, the story's there. They, they have a good story, but they have, the you know, the fast there. fire jokes. Yeah. Oh, everything's real fast and everything. Uh, that's just the way cartoons are now. Thanks, Josh. That's the way everything is. <laughs> yeah, everything's just that way now, though. But um, it's still good. It's still good quality. I like it. Um, it's just yeah. different. Uh, and I like the way it's what it takes more from the comics in yeah, terms like of his... Launchpad's still there all the mm -hmm. time, but Donald's there all the time now. Which is awesome. And he's he's dressed. Uh, he's not in the Navy this time, so he doesn't have that Navy hat. He's got right. his his hat. Um, and Scrooge has his red coat from the comics, not the blue coat. I'm which, having a hard time getting used to it because I miss the blue coat. If you grew up with DuckTales as your introduction yes. to Scrooge, you know that blue and red coat, yeah. blue coat and with red trimming. All the boys have caps. All the boys always have had caps. I miss yeah. that too. Um, yeah, and but in the comics, which I read for a long time before DuckTales came out, the original, mm -hmm. Scrooge always wore a red coat. Or a maroonish coat. Okay. Uh, so it took me a long time to get used to the to blue. get used to the blue and red one, which was a little bit more loud, really. Even though it was blue, that the red belt and the red trim made it really yeah. loud. Uh, never saw Scrooge in blue before that, so it was weird. But yeah, um, yeah, they, they're taking more. They're, they, they've got a very comic booky style with the art here. Uh, the only thing that throws that off is that, that they've changed the way the characters look, but. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention, and I, they just like I've got it running in the background here. Mm -hmm. uh, there's all these references to the old show, but not just to the old show, but like they're kind of taking all the Disney afternoon shows, mm -hmm. and it, it's like they're building that one of those cinematic universes. Are, are they gonna bring back gummy bears and everything? That would gummy be bears existed in a universe with humans. Okay. Ducktales doesn't. With Ducktales. All the characters are animals, you know. Oh, okay. Uh, so they could bring back. But the they have Darkwing tied in Dark. Well, Darkwing was always a spinoff of Ducktales. Right. But what they did in this pilot is not only did they name drop the city that that uh, Darkwing lives in, mm -hmm. Saint Canard, mm -hmm. but they also mentioned um, Cape Suzette, which is the the city that Baloo and the gang from Tailspin wow. lived in. That's so cool. they've established that that is, exists in this universe, mm -hmm. and they mentioned Spoonerville, which is where Goofy and Pete and PJ and, and, they're all and Max, that's wow. where they live. So they've tied in Goof Troop and Darkwing and Tailspin into the DuckTales universe. Mm -hmm. And I've already seen designs, somebody else posted them on a YouTube video already, uh, of Darkwing. So Darkwing is going to either appear on this show or have a spin-off. That is so awesome. I mean, he's, he, well, he's, I'm sure, going to appear on this show first. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he'll get his own show later again. Uh, I'm, But I'm really excited if they ever bring in Baloo and the gang. Oh, yeah. Because that would be groundbreaking to have Absolutely. that. Absolutely. I mean, th it would be exciting to see Goofy and Max on here, too, with, with the DuckTales gang. Mm -hmm. But even more exciting, throwing Baloo and, yeah. and Louie and, and everybody in there. That'd be really cool. But yeah, so they did mention, so it, it is all in the same universe. That was in the pilot cool. episode. And then they have uh, this scene where they're in the garage, in Scrooge's garage, and there's all these things popping out, ghosts and things, because mm -hmm. they're, they're exploring Scrooge's treasures and stuff. And um, while they're there, there are like items in, in there. It's very Goonies-ish, by the yeah, way. <laughs> it's like a Goonies scene. But there are items in this room that I recognize from... The old show. That's so cool. Like, there's a big, uh, uh, like, stone uh, wheel type thing that is, like, I think it's from the, the pilot of the original show mm -hmm. from the uh, City of the Golden Suns. And there's a, there's a robot that, that I remember from the old show. I forget what which story that was. But, yeah, it's, it, it's got awesome. all these, like, things from the old show just, just for the fans, you know, the old yeah. show. That's really awesome. And then, you know, Huey, Louie, and Dewey. Now they have, like... They don't have their ducky voices now. 
They're more right. like normal voices, and they're all different. Mm -hmm. They're similar, but they're different, you know? And that's interesting. It's not the first Almost time. Almost like Donald was an immigrant. and like <laughs> oh, With his weird like, accent. Yeah, I know. I, that's more of an impediment, though. Oh, <laughs> it's like, oh, have, it's like having a lisp or something. <laughs> but yeah, um, no, but, but Huey, Louie, and Dewey, um, yeah, uh, there have been cartoons even back I think even when Walt Disney was alive, there were a couple of cartoons maybe where they didn't have raspy duck voices. Oh, yeah, like okay. I think in Scrooge McDuck and Money, they, they just had like normal voices. Like here, although here they sound a little older, like they're maybe almost teenagers. Right, yeah, they kind of sound like 12-ish. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how old they're supposed to be, really. But yeah, they sound older, I they're guess. They're probably supposed to be nine or something. Yeah, ten, <laughs> ten or eleven, maybe. Yeah. But maybe, maybe a little older. Oh, I remember they were teenagers on that show, Quack Pack. Oh, I don't. I barely that was, remember that. And they talked normal on that. Wow. But most people think that was a terrible show, and it could have been better. But I didn't think it was terrible. I barely remember <laughs> it, it, Quack Pack. It wasn't really a Ducktales spinoff, and mm -hmm. it probably would have worked better if it was a continuation from Ducktales. Mm -hmm. But it was, it was uh, its own thing, and there were humans in that in that world too. So wow. It was weird. It was different. But yeah, this new Ducktales show. Like it. Is I'm there excited. anything else you don't like about it? Is there anything I, uh, so far there's nothing really that I don't like. I, again, the art is different. I'm adjusting to it. Um, it's more fast paced. It's faster jokes, more jokes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think the jokes a little bit more important maybe than the stories, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Or, or maybe not more important, but maybe more a little there. more, yeah. Uh, it almost seems like the the story it's just so fast paced the stories are so fast paced and right they, they were much slower in the old mm -hmm. show did they have like to be continued in the old show and stuff they like had a, a couple of times they had maybe three or four three or four like that lasted the whole week wow okay an adventure that would last like five episodes wow they had that they they broke the pilot up into mm -hmm. like five episodes and then there was the whole thing where uh, Gizmo Duck came on that was like five episodes there was a uh, one treasure hunt a uh, separate treasure hunt that I think was like five episodes uh, it was a competition with Flinhart Glomgold who oh, was the villain, the villain in, the in, in, the, in this pilot He's, he was a visit villain in the old pilot too and then there was a, there was another one where they brought in the um, the cave duck which a lot of people are saying let's hope that we don't see the cave the duck, cave duck. <laughs> <laughs> I forget his name I forget his name but um, yeah, they, they, they end up adopting this little kid, uh, caveman, Weird. from an island that they find that's got, or, or maybe later, they, no, that was from time travel, but they end up taking him to an island, I think, that has dinosaurs on it or something. That's awesome. I don't remember. It's been that's a while strange. since I've watched the whole show. But yeah, they had certain uh, times when it was like five episodes long. Right. Yeah, uh, and, and maybe they'll do that here. I don't know, like, like this pilot was two episodes long. But yeah, uh... No, I'm excited to see more. I hope I get to. I know. Um, I wonder if Disney's putting it out there on the YouTube. Well, like, they put this pilot on there. But, yeah, yeah. You, the subsequent episodes, I don't know. They've been doing that with uh, the Mickey Mouse cartoon that we were talking about a minute ago. Right. You can watch all of that on YouTube. See, that's awesome. Maybe not the last, uh, like, I don't know how up-to-date it is. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how many seasons there are. I think there's at least three seasons of that already. But, uh, yeah. Well, I, I think they're, they're all on YouTube. They're going to start having that subscription service, so that might not continue. Yeah, this might just be to get us all worked up to where we really want that Disney subscription service because they're leaving Netflix. This is like and they're this creating news. their own Disney Netflix type thing. Yeah, this is news that broke like last week that they're mm -hmm. coming out with their own streaming right. service. Uh, and I don't know, I might have to get it. <laughs> um, I don't know, I, I'm wondering if it's all going to be Disney Channel stuff. Or, or if uh, it's just going to be movies. Whereas I'll be just paying for DuckTales and, and uh, any time that they'll show Duck Cameron on Because you have all the movies already, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, I do. I have all the animated movies. Um, I have a majority even of the old live action. Well, not the majority, but of what they've released, mm -hmm. I have a lot of what they've released. I'm still always adding to that. But, I mean, I'd rather own things on disc because streaming services usually 
phase stuff out and add oh, stuff absolutely. on. Absolutely. I yeah. don't know why they would do that. Disney, they might, maybe they won't. Maybe they'll always have their back. Just backlog have everything on there. Of all the old movies. I wish they would put um, their promotional videos that, or, or Wonderful wor World of Color or Wonderful. Oh, World the of old Disney. TV shows. Things like that. That yeah. would be amazing if they had that on. Well, there. that's what I was gonna say. Like, I'll really be ready to sign up if they have the old school the Disney, Walt Disney stuff. live action stuff. That used to be what the Disney Channel was. I know. And that was the golden age of the Disney Channel. When when it's I, I remember when Disney Channel just first came on ever. Yeah. And it was like old awesome classic Disney stuff. I and I wish I don't know why they think kids these days well maybe I don't know. I was obsessed with Zorro and with Spin and Marty and I would be surprised though with with modern kids really? watching that stuff. I really even even when you were growing up I don't think a lot of the other kids your age were watching Zorro True. and Spin and Marty, and, and I, I love that stuff. But and that's probably why I'm you weird. had to watch it because <laughs> I was watching it. No, and then you no. got into yeah, it. Well, I, I know like, you were into it, but oh gosh. Well, you love like nostalgic stuff, old old yeah. school, like yeah, like vintage classic stuff. But always um, have. I don't know. I don't know how many kids these days would be into that. That's um, sad. I wonder how they would react to uh, the '80s Ducktales. <laughs> that would be interesting. I know. We, well, it's it's like their attention spans are not holding anymore. <laughs> well, because and they would, you know, video games gets a lot of blame for that. Yeah. It's just everything's faster paced now. It True. doesn't have to drop in quality. This is a great quality show, it Ducktales. Is. So uh, you know, uh, there's some really good cartoons these days still, um, but they're not the slow paced stuff that that I grew up with, like. The old DuckTales. Right. Which was still adventure and there was action and everything, but the story was, you know, they would take their time. They would. Even though it was only half an hour, they would take their time. But yeah, um, but I'm loving it. I'm loving the new show. Me too. Um, I am excited that they'll probably have some merchandise because I, I want some. That would be so awesome. I want some action figures yeah. or, or a Scrooge in a red coat doll or something. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm excited of, of what this is going to bring and possibly spin off shows. And so awesome. It could be the start of something big for Disney Afternoon fans from the old school like I am. Mm -hmm. Because that was probably my favorite thing about Disney ever. Or one of. It was the right. Disney Afternoon. I loved the Disney Afternoon. Do you remember the Disney Afternoon things theme song? Oh, yeah. yeah. I have the CD. God, how that. does it go? I had the soundtrack of that. It's, uh, I, well, I forget. I, I, I don't want to sing, you know. Disney Afternoon. <laughs> well, part of it. Disney Afternoon. But that was like the last oh, part. Oh, yeah. It was like, I forget the lyrics of like the beginning, but it was that weird, like, was it like, what do you call those instruments with a... I've got... Ding, 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 ding. See, and I've got Pooh Bear in my head. Well, Pooh Bear, yeah. Winnie the Pooh Bear. You know, in some areas, I don't think Pooh was like an official part of the Disney Afternoon, but I think in some areas they did yeah. show him during that. There was, Disney Afternoon is a whole other video. <laughs> so many things on that. Uh, but um, yeah, yeah, I'm excited about DuckTales. Me too. Uh, and I like the voices. Go I check it out. Show. Check it out. It's on YouTube right now. Yes, it is. Uh, okay, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.